What is up guys, Ghost Predator here. Welcome back to Madden 23 Ultimate Team. Quite a few changes to the team. Uh, first and foremost, the offensive line, that needed an upgrade real badly. And you guys can see all those offensive linemen. Andrew Thomas included, Quentin Nelson included. But the biggest changes are on the defensive side. Specifically the linebacker squad, Micah Parsons, Lawrence Taylor, Luke Keekley. Welcome back to the game. He was my favorite player back when he would play for the Panthers. They, so thankful they gave him a legend card. So welcome back, Luke Keekley. Changes in the secondary is Eddie Jackson at free safety and J.C. Horn, our new cornerback one. And our only changes to the D-line is Jeffrey Simmons at defensive tackle and Demarcus Lawrence at left end. So yeah, this defense should be good and you guys probably could tell from the title they did not let down in this game now we are playing against a guy who didn't really have the type of team we did but he had better cards than he was showing there that was for sure but anyway we get the ball first Stefan Diggs takes it to the 17 let's see how that new offensive line holds up four man rush and Allen able to deliver that one to DK Metcalf for 10 yards. First carry for Saquon Barkley is good for the first down. So first and 10 at the 28. Allen trying to run a play action, but good coverage, and he sent the heat. Bobby Wagner is in for the sack. Loss of nine. Meanwhile, Allen under pressure, and well, this is why we upgraded the offensive line, but even they're having a little bit of trouble as we try to chuck it to DK Metcalf, get the first down. It's picked off by Rasul Douglas, and he's got room on the left, and he is in for the touchdown. Showboat's on his way there, rubs it in our face. And this guy strikes first as he goes for two. I'm not sure why. Tries to take it with Allen. Did he get there? Yes, he did. So he actually does convert on the two-point conversion. It looked pretty close, but the referees do say he crossed the goal line. So this guy is up eight to nothing as Diggs takes this to about the 21. And let's see if we can recover from that turnover on the last drive as Barkley already a loss of three. Not a good start. Next play, Allen with time. Picked off again, and again it's Rasul Douglas. So he sets up his offense again at the 27, and there's why we upgraded the defense to hopefully settle the run game down. And right there we do tackle Travis Etienne for a loss of three as Allen, nowhere to go with the ball, forced to throw it away. This is the first defensive drive for the new defense, and so far they're holding up well right here. Overthrown ball, though. Picked off by Eric Rowe, and we get the turnover right back. So first and 10 at about the 30. We run the screen to Justin Jefferson to hopefully settle this guy's blitz down. We actually get good yards off of that. First and 10, little swing pass to Barkley. Barkley makes a move, and he is down right at the marker. Little short, though. Second and inches, we give it to Barkley, and he does pick it up along with two yards there. So first and 10, here's Allen. Looking over the middle, this is DK Metcalf, who is open. And that'll be a first down inside the 30. As Allen, next play, blitz coming. Allen under pressure, and he is sacked again. Loss of seven. I believe that was Devin White in on the sack. Meanwhile, second and 17, dump it short, try to get some of those yards back. Justin Jefferson only gained a three, though. Third and 14, Allen looking for somebody, but good coverage down the field. Allen had time that time, but just good coverage, and that sack mainly goes to the coverage. And we do punt the ball away, play it smart, pin this guy inside the 20 as he gives the ball to Shady McCoy. That is a gain of five with two minutes left in the half. Allen under pressure and Lawrence Taylor finally getting to him. So that'll fall incomplete. Third down and five looking up the middle. This is intercepted by Micah Parsons and Parsons sets up the offense inside the 20. As Allen swinging it over 
And this one is caught. I don't know how you pronounce that guy's name. I'm not even going to try. So second and five. Barkley rush for no gain there. Third down and five. Allen with time looking over the middle and it's intercepted again. Neither defense giving an inch here. The only difference is this guy's defense has scored a touchdown. Taylor coming again. Allen hurries the throw. This one's picked off by Eddie Jackson. My goodness. Turnovers all around. On, and our Allen under pressure again. Wisely gets rid of it to Saquon. Gain a seven. So second and three over the middle. This is DK Metcalf. That's inside the 20. First down. Timeout with 34 seconds left. Allen with time. Trying to dump it to Saquon Barkley. But he's caught from behind. Loss or gain a three. And we hurry up and spike the ball. Didn't want to use the timeout. 16 seconds left. Allen with time. Finds Diggs on the left. And finally we score a touchdown with how good our defense is playing. Go for two to try to tie the game, and I hit the wrong button here. I meant to hit X. I had X wide open, but I hit the wrong button. I hit Y instead. Picked off, and this guy does return it, but not able to get into the end zone. With 12 seconds left, we are down by two, and this guy also gets the ball at half. So very important we don't let this guy score anything here. That's Amari Cooper, I believe. Inside the 25, eight seconds left, Taylor coming, and ball falls incomplete. So second and 10, Allen over the middle looking for Chase Claypool, but needs to get into the end zone and does not. And that last pass was Allen's first completion in the game. So had a rough day so far. Both offensive have, both Josh Allen's have. As Allen looking to the left for Claypool again. This one's intercepted by our Rasul Douglas. And that is four interceptions for Allen so far. His Josh Allen, I mean. Meanwhile, our Allen has three picks. Forced to throw it away there. Meanwhile, second and ten. Bad pass by Allen again under pressure. Falls incomplete. Third down and ten. Allen with time over the middle. Wide open is Stefan Diggs. Whoop! Makes a move. Gets inside the 30 to the 27. So next play, Allen. Little swing pass to Barkley, but tackled immediately there by, I believe, Bobby Wagner for no gain. Second and 10, we hit uh, Mark Andrews there for a gain of eight. Tackled at the 23rd, down and two, looking for Barkley, and it is caught but short of the first. So we do decide to opt for the field goal, just take the lead with how good our defense is playing. That is the wise decision. Because so far our defense has hardly given up anything. The only reason this guy has eight points is because our offense ain't playing too good. But this guy has first and 10 at the 18. Allen looking to scramble up the middle and gets close to a first down, but he's marked inches short. Next play, Allen, play action. Swing pass to Shady, and Shady able to pick up the first down. And tackled at 32, first and 10. Here's Allen. Up to the right, this is Omari Cooper. He couldn't hold on. Falls incomplete, second and 10. Here's Allen. With time, looking over the middle for Hardman, but it is intercepted by Eric Rowe. His second pick of the day. Gets a couple blocks inside the 40 to the 35. Great starting field position for our offense, and that is his Josh Allen's fifth interception. My goodness. Second and 11. As our Josh Allen finds Mark Andrews trying to chip down the yardage. Third down and five. Allen with time to the left. This is Diggs. Diggs out of bounds at the 10. So great pickup there, first and 10 at the 10. Over the middle, next play, Metcalf breaks away and he's in for the touchdown, huge touchdown there. And that will put us up by seven, pending the extra point up and good, that will put us up by eight. So less than four minutes left in regulation. This guy is gonna need a touchdown, probably four down territory at this point. 
He'll start at the 25. Lawrence Taylor pressuring Josh Allen immediately there. That's a sack for a six-yard loss. Next play, here's Allen over the middle. It's picked off by Luke Keekley. Finally, he is into the game doing what he's done for me for a lot of years in Madden, picking balls off, and that is Allen's sixth interception now. My goodness, I don't think I've ever seen six in one game thrown by somebody as Barkley trying to get something only gets a couple third down and seven here's Barkley again just gonna try to get something Barkley gonna fight but just short of the first down fourth and two we do decide to take the field goal make it a little bit tougher on this guy make it a two possession game and with how well our defense is playing this guy is going to need a lot of help probably a miracle at this point He'll start at the 23, five wide for Allen, finds Henry up the middle for about 12 there. And that is only Josh Allen's third in completion, and right there he's under pressure. It's Lawrence Taylor again. He's just been all over Allen. Probably one of the main reasons why he's thrown six picks. As Allen looking to the right, but not ready for the pass there. So third down and 10, a minute 20 left in regulation. That one into triple coverage, unable to catch it though. I believe that was Chase Claypool. Fourth and 10, obviously gotta go for it and he's actually going to get it. Shady McCoy with a clutch catch there. First down at the 43, less than a minute left and Luke Keekley decides to close the door for good on this guy and Keekley gonna return. May go all the way, shot it, chased by Allen. And Allen tackles him out of bounds at the 16, but that does put this game away. Seven interceptions by the defense. We had to upgrade the defense, and it did not let down there. Obviously, you guys read the title, so you knew this was coming, but still, seven interceptions. My goodness. That is quite a debut for a defense. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you later.